During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up the system parameters, set up a ground bond and AC high pot test, connect a 4320 tester, one of the testers in the 4000 series, to a device under test, also known as a DUT. Run the sequence and view test results. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highpot.com to find out more information on electrical safety testing. First, you'll need to power up your 4320 tester. Check to be sure correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin remote input terminal on the rear panel of the 4320. The tester will not output voltage unless the interlock key is properly plugged into the remote input. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the tester. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel of the 4320. On the startup screen, you will see the slaughter company name, model number, and firmware version. From here, the tester will automatically navigate to the Perform Test screen. The Perform Test screen displays five parameters. Memory number. Step number. Test time. Test voltage or test current. And leakage limit or resistance limit. First, we're going to set up the tester's system parameters. To get to the system parameters, press the exit key from the main screen. The first parameter shown will be PLC remote. Use the up and down arrows to change the parameter values and use the set key to navigate to the next parameter. Repeat this process until all system parameters have been set. Press the exit key to return to the main screen. Next, we're going to set up an AC ground bond test. From the main screen, press the set key. You'll notice the memory number now has a flashing bar underneath. You will also see the word memory in the middle of the display. Use the up and down arrow keys to select a memory number for the test. You can set this value anywhere from one to six. When your memory has been selected, Press the set key again to navigate to the step parameter. You will also see the word step in the middle of the display. Once again, use the up and down arrow keys to set the step number. You can set this value anywhere from one to six. Press the set key to navigate to the test parameters. The first parameter is the test mode. This allows you to set your test type. On the 4000 series, you have the option to choose between AC, the AC high pot test, DC, the DC high pot test, IR, the insulation resistance test, and GND, the ground bond test. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the ground bond test. Press the set key to accept this setting and move to the next parameter. Using the up and down arrow keys, set the necessary values. Press the set key to accept each parameter value and move on to the next parameter. This will eventually take you back to the memory setting. Once you are finished setting all parameters, press the exit key to return to the perform test screen. We're also going to set up an AC high pot test, but first, we'd like to make sure that our ground bond and high pot tests run in sequence. To do this, we need to make sure that the steps are connected. From the Perform Test screen, press the Set key. Continue to press the Set key until the Connect parameter appears on the display. Use the up arrow key to set Connect on. Press the Exit key to return to the Perform Test screen. You will now notice an underscore character next to the step number. This underscore indicates that memory one step one is now connected to memory one step two. When the ground bond test completes, 
the test in memory one step two will automatically run. Now we're going to set up the AC high pot test. First, press the set key to highlight the memory parameter. Since we want to keep the same memory, press the set key again to highlight the step parameter. Use the up arrow key to change to step two. Press the set key to move to the mode parameter. Since the default test is the AC high pot test, AC will already be selected. Press the set key to move on to the next parameter, voltage. As with the ground bond test, use the up and down arrow keys to set the test parameters and use the set key to accept and move on to the next parameter. Once all parameters have been set, press the exit key to go to the perform test screen. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the 4320 to a DUT and run the test sequence we have set up. To connect the 4320 to the DUT, you're going to need the following accessories. The high voltage lead, the ground return clip lead, the high current clip lead, you can also use an optional universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads. First, connect the return lead to the return terminal of the 4320 tester. Unscrew the return terminal and place the return lead lug over the exposed conductor on the return terminal. Screw the return terminal back in to tighten the connection. Next, connect the red high current lead in the same fashion as the return lead. Now connect the high voltage lead by plugging the white Alden style connector into the HV terminal on the 4320. Once all of these connections have been made, you can now connect your DUT. If you're using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, connect the adapter box to the current and HV terminals of the 4320. To connect to the DUT, clip the high voltage lead to the mains conductors of the DUT. In this case, we're shorting the line and neutral wires, which are the black and white wires, to the high voltage lead. Next, connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. Finally, connect the high current lead to the ground wire, which is the green wire. You are now ready to run your test sequence. If you are using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, clip the return lead of the chassis to the DUT. Plug the three prong power cord from the DUT into the universal style adapter box. Close the DUT enclosure door, stand back, and push the test button to run your test sequence. Once your test sequence has completed, Use the up and down arrow keys to view your results.